this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Transition, M Transition Zoom Volume 3 from MotionVFX.com. M Transition Zoom Volume 3 comes with 50 different transitions available for Final Cut Pro. In this pack, you will get 10 custom transitions where you can easily customize the look of your transition, and you will get 40 pre-animated transitions including 3D pan left, 3D pan right, hyper jumps, randomized scrapes, slides, smudges, warps, and wipes. So why don't we look at this sequence that we have here in the beginning of our video. As you can see, I have several jump cuts just to start to build our story. And then as our music jumps in, we have many different transitions using M Transition Zoom Volume 3. Once you've installed M Transition Zoom Volume 3 from M Installer, you'll be able to find those in your transitions in Final Cut Pro. Applying a transition is as simple as drag and drop. Click your transition, drag it onto your clip. Here we're using the custom fade zoom in transition. As you can see by default, this transitions into the center of your clip. However, you do have on-screen controls that you can pick up and make that adjustment very, very simply and very, very quickly. Of course, you can also do this in the inspector. Let's move to the center of our transition. In this particular custom fade zoom in transition, you have access to different parameters like fade strength, zoom blur strength that you can, of course, turn on and off as well. Gaussian Blur, Bulge, and Prism. You'll also notice that if you double click any of these transitions, it brings up your precision editor. So you can really make sure that your transition is happening in the place that you want on your clip. And again, double click to exit your precision editor. If we scrub forward, we can take a look at our next transition, which is the 3D pan left. In this option, you have parameters such as radial blur on and off, bulge, and prism. Motion VFX has kept this really simple so that you can quickly and easily add some energy to your sequences. Why don't we take a look at one of our warp transitions? As you can see in your parameters, you have distortion, zoom blur, which you'll see here, bulge, and prism. This is one of my favorites, which is one of our roll transitions. This is roll left. And you can see that there's a bit of a punch in and then a roll. And that transition happens really smoothly right there in the center. You have a roll strength parameter. Directional blur. Bulge strength. And prism. The next transition I used is the custom twirl out. And again, on any of your custom transitions, you'll have on-screen controls so that you can make sure that your transition is happening in a precise location. Now, if we punch in a bit, you can actually see that you're able to keyframe your transition target if you desire to. So we're gonna set our first keyframe on our target here on our skateboarder in this park. And as we move forward, we're going to then place our target on our skateboarder here in the street. And you can see that that twirl is happening that quickly. Our next transition is one of our scrape transitions. You have your movement on and off. You have your scrape on and off. 
directional blur, bulge, and prism. One of our hyper jumps, which is a lot of fun, we again have zoom blur strength, our bulge, we have this poke option, shake, and prism. You can make adjustments to your shake randomness for a lot of energy if you need it within your transition. The next transition we used was our custom bulge transition. And once again, you do have your on-screen controls, so you can make sure that that bulge is happening right where you want it. We have a custom fade out transition here, and I noticed that it gets quite dark. I don't really want it to get so dark, so I think that I'm going to turn my fade strength down just a bit. And it was that simple. Once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com looking at M-Transition Zoom Volume 3, now available from MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and have a good one.